Head out. I'm Badger Stevens. Now prepare to get lost in On this week's episode, I'll be submerging myself into the seething cesspool that is the Canadian wilderness. For this week's episode, all you'll need to survive is a hammer, a picture of my son, he's dead, and two whole gallons of warm steaming urine. Now the first thing you want to do is find some shelter. This tree is good because it appears to be the largest in the forest that I can see. And uh, it'll keep me safe from vicious animals like beavers and ghosts and saber-toothed tigers. Let's set up camp. Ugh. Now that we've set up a suitable base camp, let's look for some grub. Now the Canadian wilderness features many untapped resources. Many of the animals happen to be endangered and also happen to be very delicious and often go well to the side of the table. Wow! You hear that? It sounds like a beaver. What's that over there? It appears to be some sort of land-dwelling creature, possibly a mammal. Uh, appears to have black fur, uh, pointy ears, possibly a bear. Now I'm gonna use this technique that I learned from a group of Chinese circus performers. <coughs> now after capturing the beast, I shall partake in the eating of his juicy innards. Once I went raw, I never went back. Mmm, delicious. Tastes almost as good as five day old bacon. Now I'll wash it down with a delicious drink. Mm. Let's move on to dessert. Ah, wild sugar berries. These should be quite adequate for my dessert. Now they may look as if they're a bit rotted, but that's because maggots usually have sex in them. Fortunately, they do not have sex in them this time of year. Seem to be feeling a bit crazy now. Better just have a few more. It appears that the maggots have been having sex in the berries this time of year. I suppose that means I'll be having severe hallucinations and bouts of diarrhea for the next six to eight hours. Oh, uh, so Get away from that gorilla! And have the strength of ten beavers! I think I've just vomited out the last remnants of those maggot sex berries. All right, it's time to move on. From the age of the Flintstones to the first English settlers burning women alive, fire has been one of man's most treasured creations. Now the way I prefer to start a fire is by using my authentic Nazi pistol and pages from my dead son's journal. Well, that didn't work. But uh, join me next week while I'll be hunting panda bears at the Woodland Park Zoo. I'm Badger Stevens. Good night.